Hi, this is Paul from AppWorks, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to send an email through FileMaker. This is pretty simple, and it has been for a while. It really only requires one script step and a little bit of input. You can get more fancy with it if you want. What I've done here is I've taken the contact starter solution that FileMaker comes with and added on a new table for emails that have been sent. And what we're going to do is I've modified I've made a script that when you push this here, it will take the contact and the email address and create a new email record, which you can see here. And it's attached to that particular contact, so you always have a record of what, of what emails have been sent from them. And as you can see here, it's just a very basic one-to-one -one relationship between contacts and mail, where it's just contact ID, the primary key. Now, what I've done is just added in all the basic fields that you would have in an email. You'd have who it's to, who it's from, CC, BCC, subject, and body. And I'm just going to fill these in. And then I've made a script called send email, which is just the send mail script step. That's it. And you have two options when doing this. You have email client or SMTP server. And we'll do email client first because that's the most basic, most easy. As you can see, I've set all of these fields, which you can either type into directly if you want the script to only do one result, or in this case, I have them populating from the mail table. You can just select which, which field you want it to populate from. So when we push send mail, it'll run that script, and you'll see it just brings up, in this case, a new email in the mail uh, application on a Mac. If you're on Windows, it'll bring up whatever your default email application is, maybe it's Outlook or whatever. Now all this information has been filled in, but you can change it if you want to anything before sending it. It doesn't get reflected in the database, so you'll have to warn your users about that but it gives you a chance to review it before sending. Now, if you want it to send directly through an SMTP server, say, using an email account that isn't on this person's computer, they're not set up in their mail, or just for whatever reason, you can do that too using the same script step. Just switch this to SMTP server and you fill in all this basic information, name, that's just what it's going to show up as, who it's from, um, the person's email, uh, the email address it's being sent from, reply to address if you want it to be different from the sending address. Uh, now this is the important part, the SMTP information. You need a server, a port, and the type of security. Now most email providers are going to have a page something like this, where they tell you what exactly you need to do to send using the SMTP server. Uh, in this case, I'm using a Google account, so you have SMTP at Gmail, uh, and then you have, if you're using SSL or TSL, it's almost always these ports for sending uh, with that kind of security, but it's good to check your email provider just in case it's different. I've already filled all this in. nice thing about, about the uh, FileMaker is if you switch it, it'll automatically change the port to what it expects it to be, which it almost always is. Password is usually plain password, uh, but again, that's something to check. I've already entered that information here. Okay, now just save that. And if we send it this way, it will send, and we won't even get a notification as long as it sends without any errors. Of course, if you want, you can put on error capture in case you do get an error and you don't want the user to see it. If you want to get really fancy, you can also set up, say, a user table where you would put in each user's email address and their email password, and then you would have the script come and check to see if that user has an account and what to use. You can even put in the SMTP information in here. It all depends on how much information you want in your script. One thing I should also mention is if you are using a Google account, you need to get into your Google account security section and check this option here, 
less secure app access. You need to turn that on or else Google will not allow you to send using FileMaker. That's the basics of how to send an email from FileMaker. I hope that's been helpful and I will see you all next time.